This is the Music History Today podcast for August 18th. On today's show, Jimmy plays Woodstock and FM radio premieres. First up, though, on this date in 1932, musician Harmon Nelson married actress Betty Davis. In 1937, the Federal Communications Commission issued its first FM radio station permit to Boston slash Worcester, Massachusetts area station WGTR, better known these days as Rock Radio WAAF. In 1955, Pete Seeger testified before the United States House Un-American Activities Committee. In 1962, Ringo Starr played live with the Beatles for the first time. In 1969, Jimi Hendrix played his set on the last day of the Woodstock Music Festival, including his now-legendary performance of the Star Spangled Banner. In 1969, same day, the Beatles finished recording their song, The End. In 1973, drummer Gene Krupa performed live for the last time with the Benny Goodman Quartet. In 1977, a small funeral service was held for Elvis Presley at Graceland. In 1978, Melvin Blue Franklin of The Temptations was injured when he was shot four times during a carjacking. He survived his injuries. In 1979, singer-songwriter Nick Lowe married country music singer Carlene Carter. In 1984, Nick Rhodes of Duran Duran married heiress Julie Ann Friedman. In 2011, a stage collapsed during a storm at a Chicago music festival, killing four people and injuring 70 others. In 2017, Taylor Swift wiped all of her social media clean then started posting again three days later to promote her new single, Look What You Made Me Do. The act of wiping your social media clean to start promoting a new project then, of course, became a trend. In classical music in 1918, singer Enrico Caruso married socialite Dorothy Benjamin. In theater in 1981, the revival of the musical My Fair Lady opened on Broadway. In award ceremonies that were held on August 18th in 1982, Liverpool, England renamed some streets after members of the Beatles, including Stu Sutcliffe, who was their original bass player. Albums that were released on August 18th include in 1976 when Burning Spear released Man in the Hills. In 1978, The Who released Who Are You? In 1980, Yes released Drama. In 1981, Wall of Voodoo released Dark Continent and The Rolling Stones released their classic Tattoo You. In 1986, Bon Jovi released their classic Slippery When Wet. ABBA released ABBA Live and Nick Cave and the Bad Seeds released Kicking Against the Pricks. In 1987, Aerosmith released Permanent Vacation and Debbie Gibson released Out of the Blue. In 1992, Patti Smythe released her self-titled album and Eric Clapton released Eric Clapton Unplugged, which ended up winning a Grammy Award for Album of the Year. In 1995, Frank released Goofy Foot. In 1996, At the Drive-In released Acrobatic Tenement. In 1997, Billy Joel released Greatest Hits Volume 3. In 1998, At the Drive-In released In Casino Out. Graham Coxon released The Sky is Too High. And Kid Rock released Devil Without a Cause, which became a big selling album. And in 2008, Leonard Skinner released Leonard Skinner's Greatest Hits. Singles that were released in the UK on August 18th include in 1967 when the Rolling Stones did a twofer. They released Dandelion and We Love You. In 1978, The Jam released David Watts and in 1986, Genesis released In Too Deep. Meanwhile, in America, in 1964, Paul Revere and the Raiders released Over You. In 1965, Dino, Desi, and Billy released Not the Loving Kind. In 1966, The Four Tops released Reach Out, I'll Be There. In 1987, Kiss released Crazy Crazy Nights. In 1997, The Foo Fighters released Everlong. In 1998, Aerosmith released I Don't Want to Miss a Thing. And in 2014, Taylor Swift released Shake It Off. 
Before we go any further, we'd like to tell you that there is now a Music History In-Depth podcast where we go more in-depth on a few of the events that happen in music history for that particular week. The Music History In-Depth podcast runs every Tuesday on YouTube or wherever you get your podcast from, as does our Music Halls of Fame podcast, which talks about a member of the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame along with other Music Halls of Fame, museums, and walks of fame. The Music Halls of Fame podcast drops every Thursday and can also be found on YouTube or wherever you get your podcasts. Now, back to this podcast. Artists who were born on August 18th include Everlast of House of Pain, Regine Cachain of Arcade Fire, Richard David James, a.k.a. Aphex Twin, classical composer Antonio Salieri, Jonathan Schneck of Reliant K, Ron Steichert of Men at Work, Dennis Elliott of Foreigner, Sarah Dash of LaBelle, Carl Wayne of The Move, singer Johnny Preston, Sonny Till of The Orioles, orchestra leader Enoch Light, Barbara Harris of The Toys, Marvin Isley of The Isley Brothers, singer Claro, Rapper G-Dragon of Big Bang, singer Genui, singer Mika, rapper Sin Boy, guitarist Vince Maloney of the Bee Gees, that backup band that is, bassist Nigel Griggs of Split Ends, keyboardist David Benoit, drummer Dan Peters of the group Mud Honey, singer Tracy Tracy of the group The Primitives, singer and also the daughter of Kurt Cobain and Courtney Love, Francis Bean Cobain, entertainer extraordinaire the late great Patrick Swayze, country music singer Molly B, pianist Zinky Cohen, blues pianist Curtis Jones, singer Lucien Boyer, and composer Gus Edwards. Artists who unfortunately passed away on August 18th include composer Giovanni Artusi, who passed away in 1613 at the age of 73. Organist Johann Zhang passed away in 1811 at the age of 78. Composer Peter Lichenthal passed away in 1853 at the age of 73. Conductor William Levy passed away in 1894 at the age of 57. Composer Frederick Crouch passed away in 1896 at the age of 88. Composer Richard Klein Mitchell passed away in 1901 at the age of 54. Pianist and composer Erwin Schuloff passed away from tuberculosis in a German concentration camp in Bavaria in 1942 at the age of 48. Trumpet player Paul J. Maris passed away in 1949 at the age of 49. Composer Warzniak Zulowski passed away during an Alpine rescue mission on Mont Blanc in the Alps in 1957 at the age of 41. Jazz pianist Cy Walter passed away from cancer in 1968 at the age of 52. Composer Lacey Boldeman passed away in 1969 at the age of 48. Composer Norman Kasdan passed away in 1980 at the age of 65. Singer Greth Ingman passed away in 1990 at the age of 52. Music poster designer Rick Griffin passed away in a motorcycle accident in 1991 at the age of 47. Jazz clarinetist Clarence Hutchenrider passed away in 1991 at the age of 83. Opera singer Gottlob Frick passed away in 1994 at the age of 88. Tony Jackson of the Searchers passed away from a combination of heart disease and diabetes in 2003 at the age of 65. Film composer Elmer Bernstein passed away in 2004 at the age of 82. Singer Fernand Gignac passed away in 2006 at the age of 72. Purvis Jackson of the group The Spinners passed away in 2008 at the age of 70. Kenny Edwards of the Stone Ponies passed away from cancer in 2010 at the age of 64. Singer Scott McKenzie passed away in 2012 at the age of 73. Pianist Roger Smalley passed away in 2015 at the age of 72. Jack Sherman of the Red Hot Chili Peppers passed away in 2020 at the age of 64. Saxophonist Hal Singer passed away in 2020 at the age of 100. 
and pop and contemporary Christian music singer-songwriter Ray Hildebrand of the group Paul and Paula passed away in 2023 at the age of 82. Next on the Music History Today podcast, it is August 19th when in 2003, the celebrity reality show Newlyweds Nick and Jessica debuted on MTV. 